RC Records, RC Records. This is for the message for the RC Records, RC Records, RC Records. This is for the message for the RC Records. <laughs> hey yo, it's your boy RC right here. You know, welcome to the label of RC Records right here. You know, you can see this label right here. You know, um, you know, like. Back in the days, we used to have like I have this, this house from since since when my me and my parents got moved. You know what I mean? It's like <clears throat> really cool. You know, anything goes. We've been proud of the label. You know, it's a really awesome label that we've been used like all the time. You know, it's like well, beginnings like a beginning, but kind of. But I'm the only first Mexican who owns the label at I see where um this they bought the time. You know, well before that. But, Back in the 80s, before RDC Records, Laura Blackwell was been there since 1980s, including 1984, you know. I just don't remember when all those Sorenos that they usually get into a fight with some Nortenos. It was like, I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, history happens, you know? Like, when they even go fight each other, when they just have to go fight with some cocaines and weeds and all that shit, it's just <clears throat> fucking retarded because. You know, like back in the days when Little Blood Production went became big, it was the only label who owns, which is Snoopy and yeah, the person who gets the label, but I can't remember. But he he was a really good guy, but he owns the label like back in the days. You know, like before Odyssey Records when became big. You know what I mean? That's how it goes when when Odyssey Records really became dependent one of those <clears throat> biggest hit labels at the time. You know. Yeah. You know, like, sometimes, you know, when when I feel something wrong about the the label about Odyssey Records, it won't be nothing about Odyssey Records. It won't do anything about it. It's just Laura Block because of the, the, the guns, violins, and all kind of stuff, you know, like, <clears throat> they've been telling, like, some shit where, where they can have to talk shit because cause there was a label that was between against one of those um, labels com competitive that was also Laurel Block but it would formed in 2000 but I can't remember what that label what that is it's because it's like BP and Records or something but I can't remember yeah <clears throat> I'm not a Norteño I'm just like I'm just the leader of the Sureño which is coming me and myself is a, a vato you know what I'm saying like you know vatos have to do that vatos have gotta do you know what I mean like I have to see where, where they are, and I have to listen to one of those cholos, the gorillas, solados, you know. <clears throat> That's all I have to do, you know what I'm saying? All I do is just have to listen to a cholo and see what they said. And plus, you know, hey, hope you like to get to know this guy, you know, that cholo that we've seen like back in the days for Odyssey Records of the Nasty, especially like when he used to explain his own thoughts on Facebook and shit, which is, I'll say yada yada, you know. Hope you like to get. I hope you like to meet met this guy. You know he's cool, but I heard he was in. A, he's gonna be in this year's World Games right here. So don't miss it. So it's gonna be showing up on this year's Special Olympics 2015 World Games. So hope you're gonna love it. It's gonna be like amazing. You can see, and especially you can see on YouTube this year. So hope you guys are gonna love it because it starts between July or August. So hope you're gonna love it because this year is gonna be the blast. You know, like, I was born in La Piedad, Michoacan, Mexico, September 22nd, 1984. It was, like, back then when when I was a baby, you know, like, back in the days, it was really cool, you know, like, when, I, when I'm living with Mexico with my sisters, you know, I live two sisters, and then also my parents usually live there, you know, it's just, <clears throat> it's just always been amazing, you know what I mean? Like, if, if I feel like it and then cru crucified with my music, it doesn't do anything about crucified. It's just something where we're born there, we're born here. You know what I mean? It's like something where I go raise, <clears throat> but sometimes I feel like something there was nothing I can see where, where I were supposed to live here where I was raised in Napa. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know Napa was going to be like a, the same place that we we're going to live there. You know what I mean? And I'm raised in the, <clears throat> the in Third Street where 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 the house was where where was like not much close but almost lived closer to Laurel it was like almost about like a couple blocks there you know what I mean like 
you can see like where all those BLS members you can see around here walking down in the street and shit you know that's how it goes when you just like end up in the war zone you know what I mean it's because all those leaders they usually get into a fight each other like so much competitive you know like this just gets so much violent when, when, when all the people they're just gonna have to get rid of it and there's just nothing you can see you know what I mean that happens to us when <clears throat> when the leaders of that just start to get rid of one of those generations well that was like the first the second generation the third generation and for us we're in the fourth generation and for us we were big <sighs> that's why we got the best we got the best leaders right here because the uh, last generations they they seen each other with the Laurel block production to own the label it was like really cool but i heard it's really cool because because they invest a lot of money to use that shit and then after that they just make it a lot of money be really good because of caesar you know he owns this some shit with Laurel block because snoopy had had it all and especially in the music they just seem like wide away you know what i mean <clears throat> but it was really cool when caesar just Give me some good thoughts about it. Even uh, even one of the some some one of the people's cousins or Snoopy, you know, like like when people that they just tell us well, what what they have to do and then what the the labels they're gonna have to do with the music because you know all well some of one of my musics of the group they they were been done before you know because you know back in the days we I used to rap like back in the last ten years and then after that there was <clears throat> there was been there was been drama going on because because they, they don't know what was going on because like if we get to get in a fight with somebody it shouldn't be like Sammy or Diego or some other guys or something you know we don't we don't care you know it's just something that we need to get up in the level since like since I just like what we did before you know like like we, we did the big improv with me in the BLS you know it's just really cool you know like I remember back in the days where we used to get a lot of money that we had to own in and just see how much I have, you know, like, you know, if I were used to get in a fight, I was like, <clears throat> saving up money and just get all the cash in and just and spread all the money that, that we don't know and spread all the money that we can't use shit, you know, I mean, because of the back in the days, it's just the long story, you know, like, like people just don't know when we were back in middle school. That happens to me when I get really stressed about those those leaders that they're trying to get us, you know what I mean? It's just stupid, you know what I mean? This shit just stupid. And then after that, I was just like feeling myself as a real leader right here. Because all those colors that they seemed like before when, when BLS was starting to get bigger. Because of the they like the, this hat right here that I've been wearing here today. Which is what the Raiders or... Hey, Lakers, Dodgers, Dallas Cowboys, to the White Sox, like, like mine I have. Look, see that? <clears throat> to the White Sox. It's back there, over there, where we usually I wear the hat the last time, you know. <sighs> Things could, could get changed when when all those BLS, they just they, they don't have to care about us some other leaders that we just that we don't know. You know what I mean? Because we're in the fourth generation leader of the the Sureño right here. BLS, you know, you know, like I remember Casper and and Creeper used to be in the, the third generation leader of the, the game, but they used to be here in Napa, but not anymore. But but we were so depressed, stressed, you know, it was so at the top. It was so crazy because we we because like last time back in middle school and high school, we used to get end up we used to get down, you know, like. I don't know why, but this is just this shit gets very difficult because because we get all the money from <clears throat> all those guys after we get in the fight, we just get money, you know what I mean? Like get money, get money, get the money, get the money. That's it. And after that, I, I was the only guy who makes a big improv because I'm I'm making it so high. It's because I quit the group, which is back in 2008. So so I'm still the leader, as anyways. Oh, you know, it's not about like it's just the music group because. <clears throat> Cause I'm, I have to do this my own. Cause, cause I have the own label that we just spent time. That's just for this year. That we, we had a anniversary. It was really cool. Cause you know, like more than Blur Block, it was just seemed like more bigger and more wider. You know what I mean? Because Robot Production always has always been there. 
you know what I mean, in, from the Napa Califeros, from the, from the Napa BLS, from the Napa Sureños, and all that. That's, that gives up. So it's a new message from the new situation um, that you nothing to get ugly. <clears throat> it's just all about the, this label I've been owning this before, which is Pinwheel Records. Well, for me in my room, we used to have the label called Pinwheel Records because I used to own this label before IDC Records. You know, like you know, I first the first time I signed, which is that uh, my my cousin Regito, well, his name called himself RZ Palm. Well, <clears throat> he's one of the good guitars at the time, and you know, like well, I was spend time a little bit in Pinwheel Records, and sometimes a little bit of recordings, not too much. Well. Well, one of those music videos that are okay, but well, I'm trying to do good, try to make it good myself. Uh, I used to have the new camera that I have; it was really cool. But but they gave me they gave me just some really good message about the big improv because <clears throat> it was um one of my girl's cousins right here because he used to be the leader back then at the last generation, but right now he's not there because he got quit because he moved to Fairfield. But he was a really good kid. But he was a really cool dude. But he was asking me to listen. If he, if I didn't make a big improv, someone's looking for me in Napa High. But she's one one of the, the girl Napa High School sweetheart right here. Well, we used to go out like back in the days. You know, like you know, we've been dating like six years. You know, her name is Alma right here. Check it out. That's my girl. I love her in my heart, you know, just, you know, <clears throat> she's very special because cause she's one of the disabilities at the time. And then I remember, like, one time that she was asking me, like, like, hi, how are you? And then after that, I was like, later, back in the days on Friday, I was like, she asked me, like, I don't know when she wrote it. And then she's like, will you love me? And I was like, yeah, well, let's put the circle on it. And then after that, she just... Like, damn. that was the first time when I was, <clears throat> well, that was the first time when Alma just loved me at the time. It was really nice. Really sweet. <sighs> well, and after that, well, Pinwheel Records has still been in a, still been useful as a label, but I haven't been used, like, promotions yet, but, <clears throat> but I, I didn't get promotions yet, but. Once I, if I dropped the new album that I've been used from Pinwheel Records, which is the only one album I've been did, it's like, it's hard to see the famous, the other one that was the Strulip Says, you know, featuring My Nintendo, Down in the Pocket, Walk It Out, and all that shit, you know, all these music, so they just seem look pretty good, but not Work It Out, it's Work It Out. You know, like, <clears throat> all the type of music that seem very well for Pinwheel Records, but... However, I always get famous right now because, like, I've been, well, right, from now on, I've been changing the label to, the name, as the label to Pinwheel to Odyssey Records because Odyssey Records is the only label that, that attaches itself to be become as of my real name that call me yourself since for last year, they were calling yourself as Zeke Elias Odyssey. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes when you had to join back in the Ozone, you know what I mean? Well, you know, like, it was like, me and Alma back in freshman year, then it was like junior year because, you know, she was asking me to go out with me again, and I was like, hey, I don't know, man. Well, was like, sex and all this shit. <laughs> nah, just kidding, but kind of, kind of. <laughs> well, we broke up with the senior, I don't know why, it was <clears throat> some sort of an issue. Well, at least the Odyssey Records this is just always gets bigger because we got the Grand Three, including the, which is um. I know I know my one of my cousins they usually I usually sign that Odyssey Records, which is um I know all I know is Hyro, but he calls himself Gangster Killer Youngster as Yoham and and I all I know is Triple A Dog, which is. Lexus, you know, you know, AAA dog, you know, youngster, you know, 
the only boy named Gangster Killer, but Gangster Killer, he only plays football, Triple A Dog plays soccer, and Youngster plays basketball also, but he's just, he hasn't been on a sports yet, so maybe he'll, he'll figure this shit out if he's gonna be in and joining the game with the name with him. See if it's cool. <coughs> And, and me and RZ Pong, we, we did the late album called um, OMP, but we, we went pretty good, but especially for the Grand Theories also, it was like, first time was the beginners and the secondary, like, I've won a double cheeseburger and a whole the lettuce, some bum 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 seeds and the bum bees up for the water for two, so I lick my shoe, I need some chicken up in here, in this fizzle, with the fizzle on the fizzle on the spot on the fizzle, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, my brother, and don't forget the, the Frost Krispies. You got it out the Big Mac. You got it out of the Big Mac. A Big Mac. Her name. She's sexy. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, like me and the Grand Three, we, we just been work hard really good since like five years ago. It was really cool, you know. Since the IDC Records, we've been open wide to become a new label because we got bug bits right there, you know, like. It's really cool, and plus, like, we've been had. <clears throat> I had this room for like many years, like ten years, you know. Cause I moved there, you know what I mean? It was really cool. <sighs> you know, it's like people just don't understand why why I'm supposed to live there. You know, like <clears throat> I've been trying myself since like when I used to be. You know, I used to be in that label, like so much in touch, you know, every time when I, when I see the, the plays, you know, like, you know, this shit gets me tired, and another that I was like, hey, where'd you get that label, and where was that paper they just come from, you know, it's like, like, people were telling me, like, what was this paper for, this it says, I see records, and this is, it says, there was a rule right there, it's right there, and there's a sign right there, you know what I mean, it's like, Especially for the paper that was over there the next to the door. It says recording, not recording. They used to have there, but right now it's like they got the new shit right here on the paper. There was ones over there, but that says like opens 24-7. You know what I'm saying? But back in the days, they used to open like, like open in the morning and it closes like 7 p.m. I mean 7 or 8 p.m. <clears throat> I remember that label used to become bigger, but it still seems that the same way, you know. And also the one of those famous rappers. Have you seen this before at Odyssey Records? Right now, it's only like Dre White, Roy Rye, Evie's Beats, Shotty Boy, Illinois, TC4800, and all those artists, you know. All those famous artists that they seem look really big, you know, like all those artists that they seem look how much they usually some become one of the number one hits they ever seen this before. Cause like back in the 2011, they used to have another one of those hits that they seem look very eliminated, which is the one with a burn with you, I brought a ride and I get it in. The one with Dre White it was pretty cool, you know. I never seen one of those hit singles they seem played like that, you know. It's just like wow. They got the hip hop, they got the R and B. You know what I mean? Like, if they, they, those music, they need to come up with some some better experience than they need to do. You got to do something because I know GTA Way was on there, but 2012 was GTA Way because of the the day, the one of those weeks that they seem look very good so far, which is inhale, exhale. You know what I'm saying? It was like. What's the baddest hit I've ever seen this before? Cause like ever since we we broke up with Senior and me and almost like. I don't know, so, because of swearing, and I don't know, Daniel fights, it's like, damn, I was, oh, God, that's just fucked up. <sighs> that's why, that's why she doesn't want to get, them, get on me too much. <clears throat> that's because she likes guys, but right now she just doesn't. Right now she just changed her mind, and she just do her way with what she wants, you know, like, if she doesn't want to be with it, someone that she want to, she just want to be like, hey, if she's not ready for her to be a, in a relationship with me yet, well, <clears throat> we'll still get the chance maybe like four years ago. <clears throat> well, and after that, I was like, 
I'm, I'm still on the back of the Odyssey Rex right here, you know. The inhale, exhale is always a bit bigger, and then also, especially for like, move like burning, the one with a um, super hot fire, also known as Issa, then Spit of Boys hit single, original, killer, 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 you know what I mean. And also a year later, well, I'm still been working for IC Records as anyway, especially for the producements. Like, like I can produce artists, I can just direct artists, manage artists. You know, like I'm just want to make sure and see how the good artists that they become up some number one hits. You know, like like number one artists that they ever seen this before that they will become winners. You know, like it was just so awesome you know like 2013 was the EV speeds because of the you know when it became bigger especially for you know the years also it was bigger too you know i i like this group because the, they were one of the, the the japanese group ever seen this before you know EV speeds is the best and and the rest of those there's only like super hot fire shot to me well there, it was been there back in the days and since that hit single when it became big especially for the you know, like Shut Me has always been in the the big improv hit. I've seen this before because it, it usually it, that this hit single was the continuous because because you nobody can listen to this hit single becoming a big hit radio. Ever seen this before for hip hop and R and B? And I was like, do you believe that? You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, Issa keeps going with Shot to Me, keeps going for like a year, every single year, every single year. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes, my man. When the super hot fire gets bigger, you know what I mean? It's like, this shit gets bigger. And that's why we, they used to have that, that shit before. And that's about it. And also, especially for like Union Familia, La Primera, they used to be have a, a number one hit when they became bigger as also, but it still has always been big in the back in the days, you know? It was awesome. And then 2014, um, I'm pretty sure it's only Illinois with the one with that Taiga hijack. I heard this single was the the dopest music I ever seen that from the Odyssey Records track. It was a it was a fucking awesome track, you know, like every music's just like pussy money, we got all that. You know what I'm saying? It's like music so just just get really hard in California, you know what I mean? California just gets really harder, you know what I mean? This shit always gets harder than it is anyways. Especially for um for COZ's a group for the song called G's the one with Akon it was really cool too you know like the one in the most in infinomous hit ever seen this before it was pretty cool you know I didn't know that's gonna be a, a really big hit just like one of those hits that you they seen gone so far it was really cool you know I really enjoy Odyssey Records really cool but <clears throat> you know like. I've been still working hard with um Triple A Doggers anyways, but right now he's a uh, director right now. He doesn't want to be a rapper. He's just moving back in himself as a, a soccer player. But right now he was just trying to do something with his music that had to take it because I know he's going to be back for the, the group, I guess. Maybe. But he'll make it try. But he'll try harder because, you know, Triple A Dog, he's just, he was trying to, but he was just, he's just trying to do the music class so he can try. <clears throat> you know what I mean? He can do whatever he wants. You know, like last time when we we did the with the OTD for album called um OTD. That was the first one and it came out since 2011. And then it was like OTD smash, but it went became failed because it, we been and the, the one of those tracks we've been switched to the ERC um, presents the Ria since I, I dropped the one of those. <clears throat> The, the group album that we've been used for me and the Grand 3 that was like 2013 but it was really cool I heard it was cool because I never seen any of those music they seem to come out in the tracks you know it's pretty cool and um uh, Third Dairy it was been released before since like 2010 and then people was like oh my god where'd you get the word nigger here I'm like oh my god this shit is the bomb but if you, if you spell the, the, the song called N-I-G-G-E-R, it's just like some racist word, but all of those words that you can say, it's just, <clears throat> it's just like always been a big hit, you know, like, it's still like nothing but a big hit, but it's still nothing but a scene looks a very empty space you can see, you know what I mean? And then that's, that's just the, the really good hit, you know? 
it's, there's nothing they can they can do with it. It's good. It's really good. And also the 2012 um, Odyssey and the Pongs album. We we we've been <clears throat> we've been working really hard, really well. You know, it's really cool. You know, we had enough of the music that we did before. You know, it was a. Uh, the one album that we did before was um, um what was it called? Heaven is sequel featuring the the one of those couple hits that we've seen so far. Um, you know, it was really cool. <clears throat> I like when when me and Audi, me and the Palm we, we did music to each other. It was really cool because you know we've been in on the charts before. So it's like like back in a couple ye three years, four years, you know. It's been good when when we have the have some good time with the groups and spend time with some good charting hits, you know. It's always been like pressure. Can you feel it? Uh huh, uh huh. You know, it's just it's nothing but you can see out but there before, you know. Like this is the best, you know. That's just like always greater, you know. You know what I mean? I'm just the greatest. You know, like I've been, <clears throat> I've been a witness through with, with me and the Grand Three, but we've been having some like taking off bread because like we don't know what's going on, but we're just we're just gonna have to feel out there because I know me and Yoke, so we're just like keep rapping, and, but however we we did some freestyles before since like last year because we had some tracks that that we did with like before, you know, it's really cool, you know. Especially what we did with the Mark P in this label right here, because Mark P was there before from Odyssey Records of the Nasty. So, all of you guys would like to check it out that that video called the Freestyle, because because <clears throat> Mark P is in there. So, hope you're gonna love it, because every music they're gonna have to show it. You know, that would be acid. But, 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 however, that the G5 is coming soon, so it's coming to like well, three months. So the album is complete. So. So I hope you're gonna love it. So it's gonna take about in three months. So don't wait, cause this album's gonna be better and deafer. Like like one of those latest albums that we did, it was like the really good because like <clears throat> cause I know it's pretty awesome. But last year I wasn't I wasn't doing anything with the IDC records with me and IDC in the pond, the grand thing, all that shit. It was like thinking about Alma, just seemed to have a nervous breakdown before. And I just can't help it. Because I used to go out with any women like that. But I'm just like, nah, not anymore. I'm done with it. Right now, I'm just like thinking about all my own. Just see what's good in my life, you know. And after that, well, <clears throat> she was asking me like, uh, I wish she, she would come go out with me. I was like, yeah, me too. And well, was like, she's like, you know, like, you know, I'm gonna we go back together again, you know, it's really cool, you know. <clears throat> you know, you know, she was she's in uh she's in a good, good condition right now, so she can do the better place, she can do anything with with me and Odyssey Records, so that's that's the best way that, that she make may make me happy, you know. Especially her family. You know, I can do anything for her family. You know, I love her so much. That's why. That's why I don't want to. I don't want to let this happen with me and her. So hope it's all good. So, so hope this shit gets bigger, especially for one of my albums that I did before. You know, like Prince Odyssey's edition, and I did with the Primus. You know, that was like 2012, then 2014. You know, and the mixtapes that they they seem gone so far for IC Records. Well, <clears throat> so that was only like. 500 degrees and dark is active and much more mixtapes that have been released before so i hope you like to check it out on a yachty C vivo so you're gonna have to check it out because there's a lot of tracks in there and hope you're gonna love it because there's so many tracks that we've seen so far you know and coming soon march from the oa is coming up next month so don't miss it like after all after my girlfriend's birthday so it's gonna be on the 10th so i hope you're gonna love it Cause if you're gonna read that about the bars from the OA, it's too late. So, and plus the DJ's Odyssey's new album that's gonna come up is gonna call Upstate Khalifa Presents. You know, I'll be gonna love it too. So it's gonna come out till July. So, 
Oh, you're gonna love it. So this is Zeke Lies that I see. Thanks for the and thanks for joining us for a photo of the biography of the Odyssey Records. And thanks for joining us.